Hello everybody. How's it going today? As you can see, I purchased a new piece of equipment today. It's an Allied Farm King 7420. So as you can see, it came with the hand crank. Let's see how my tractor has a cab on it. I'm gonna convert it to hydraulic. So I bought the kit it comes with in that box over there. I'm gonna put that on today. So these are all the pieces that come in the kit. The hydraulic conversion. Get some video of it, so we'll put it together. Okay, so we've done a few steps already. I'm just gonna have to do it in uh, short little clips because it's too difficult to hold the camera and to assemble it at the same time. So this is what I've put on so far. This is the hydraulic motor. There are no instructions showing how this thing goes together. So I looked at some pictures on the internet. It looks like this is the way they basically have it set up. First thing you do is you hold your motor up from here and run these bolts in from the top. They're 9 16th bolt. This is threaded, so it's you don't need nuts. It goes together very easily. Then you have to drop your gear on top and that's held in with this retaining bolt. So the next thing is there's a cover that goes on here to cover up this assembly, and then we'll go to the hydraulic hoses. Okay, so we're back. So what we've done, put this guard on, two bolts, lock nuts underneath. They are 7 16th, sorry, half inch. Put the hoses on, spun them tight. They have O-rings in them, so I didn't put any Teflon, so it should work. And next thing is to put it on the tractor and measure the PTO, make sure the shaft is the right length. Be back. So we're back again. We got it all hooked up. We've got the hoses on and tightened. We run to the tractor. I still have this piece on, which I will have to take off. One of the things that I noticed when I rotate the chute is it stops here, bangs up against that, and it's actually the snow will hit the tractor. So the chute has to give it a quarter turn. And the reason why I say that also is when it goes the other way, I'll show you. So if you rotate the chute, that's as far as it can go, which you don't want to do any part of that way anyway. The other way comes around, and it stops there. So I think if you take the chute off, rotate it, quarter turn, it'll shoot that way. And then this here will come around and stop the other way, but this has to be removed because right now the chute is set up to operate this as its center point and not that. So I will have to remove that and set that chute. And now we're gonna run it up here. Got everything all greased up and uh, ready to go. Like I 
said what I did, put these four bolts out and turned it a quarter turn, but the chute doesn't move. This ring here, here moves. It's very easy. The only thing you have to do is have it lined up so the bolts in here, I don't know if you can see those or not, can drop down. So where it is now, it'll hit on this plate and you won't get the bolts up. So you have to have it turn slightly to the side so it drops in this gap and all four will line up and you can drop all four bolts at the same time. Then you give this a quarter turn, put the bolts back in and tighten it up. So let's give it a go and see if it works. much better you can see it's gonna need a little bit of grease around that ring gear and stuff we'll do that next now what I've also decided to do is to drop those shoes a little bit so it brings the snowblower up off the ground a bit so I'd rather have it as a snowblower than a rock thrower so we're gonna try that next and uh, it looks like it's fairly simple Four bolts, drop it down a hole, tighten it back up again, and that's it. She's ready to go, just need some snow to try it out. Thanks for watching.